A map of Russia with the area affected by ATA CMS missiles was presented in the US Congress. A map of Russian territory with an area that could be covered by US supplied ATA CMS missiles was demonstrated by the head of the US House Foreign Affairs Committee, Michael McCall, calling on US Secretary of State Antony Blinken to lift the ban on Kyiv to strike Russian territory with US weapons. This is a no go area for attacks by American weapons created by the Russians, where they place artillery and missile systems in close proximity to the Ukrainian border, which they then use to attack Ukrainians, McCall said. In this regard, the Republican congressman asked Blinken whether he would consider the policy prohibiting the armed forces of Ukraine from launching strikes on Russian territory, but the Secretary of State avoided answering, saying that such decisions should be made by the Ukrainian side. He also expressed hope that Congress would provide Kyiv with the necessary weapons, to which McCall interrupted him, saying that it was not Congress that established the ban on such strikes, after which he called for it to be lifted. As I speak to Ukrainians, they cannot achieve victory with the restrictions that you, not Congress, have placed on them. And I hope that you will convey this to the National Security Advisor and change this political decision, which harms Ukraine, he said. The United States is afraid to officially allow Kyiv to use American missiles on the territory of the Russian Federation. However, against the background of the failures of the Ukrainian armed forces, they are dispelling this issue in the hope of stopping the offensive of the Russian army and actually do not prevent the illegitimate Ukrainian president, Zelensky, from carrying out such attacks. The Su-27 supersonic fighter was damaged as a result of the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine on the military airfield Kashovska. This is reported by the Russian media ASTRA. Recall, on the night of May 19, the Crimean Peninsula was hit by rocket attacks of the Ukrainian army. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that the Atakms missiles were repelled by the air defense system. But Ukraine states that at least three missiles were not shot down and hit the territory of the military airfield in the town of Kushchevsk, Krasnodar territory, on the night of May 19. As a result of the attack, a fire broke out, the Russian Su-27 supersonic fighter and the infrastructure of the airfield were damaged. According to other information, at the airfield, Intelligence of Ukraine worked together with the forces of unmanned systems of the armed forces of Ukraine. Russians on social networks complained about a series of explosions and fires at night, and one even cried, they blew up our bush. At this airfield there were dozens of different planes that attack Ukrainian positions at the front, Su-34, Su-25, Su-27, MiG-29. This is the second drone attack on the Kushchevska military airfield and the Slovensk refinery in the last three weeks. At that time, several planes were hit at the airfield, and the refining and atmospheric columns were hit at the refinery. Furthermore, on the night of May 19, there was a drone attack on the Slavyank oil refinery in the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that the drone belonging to Ukraine fell on the territory of the factory and exploded. As a result, a fire broke out in the plant and its activity was suspended for a while. No casualties are reported. In addition, it is said that during the night there was a strong explosion and fire at an oil base in Vyborg, Leningrad region, Russia. It is not known what caused the explosion.